All right. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon to some of you, according to your location on the face of the planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio studio here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist in Mazemar of Chimachuku. I am from Mundiabo. That was in Aniri. Aniri is a local government in Ojiba province of Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcast from the IPOB. Namdi Khan is our leader, and he's still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained. And that is why we will continue to push. When you come to Nigeria, you will see somebody that claimed to where he went to school, where he went and studied, the university he went to. You will get them in comment section of Nigerian media. Those uh, even lecturers, Nigerian lecturers, you will see them talking about, they'll tell you, your, your leader is, is, is in detention. Your leader is, he, he will not come out. Do you know what they are doing? They are laughing to themselves that their government disobey cut order. That is when you will see the stupidity of humanity in Nigeria. It is only a Nigerian that will come and tell you that he can release him. He has been discharged by your court. You are laughing at yourself because the man has defeated your government. That is stupidity of the highest order. Instead of you to condemn the evil of your government, who took Nnamdekano to court after kidnapping him from Kenya? Nnamdekano won them in court. You are not ashamed of yourself. You will come up and say, hey, he's rotten in, the, in the detention, he's in prison, he is in, as if you know what is happening. Stupidity of the highest order. When you see somebody that went to university, you come to sub, that is to talk about Namdekano when he have been discharged and acquitted. Then you tell me you have a country. Which country are you running? The school you went to. Which constitution that um approved the establishment of school? Is it not the same constitution that uh, established a pre court? Is it not the same constitution that the judges have been using on the case of Namdekano? Can, is it not the same constitution that uh, made people senators? The same constitution that decided them the canon. And you, you come out, you talk about it, and a man that has destroyed your country. Keep your country in a state of destruction. We will destroy it to the end. You will end up in comment session of Vanguard, Punch, Sarah Reporter, and all those stupid um, media houses. We are here to destroy it. You end up there. And that is what I have come here. Let me show you the citizens of Nigeria. How confidential they are dealing with people's farm. And that is why we are here. We are here to analyze the stupidity of northern leaders. And the conspiracy of Nigerian state against the people of the east. Using full enhancement terrorists to take over our land. And ESN said no. Today, they have finally sent the army. Army is now fighting for Fulani. They will, they, they, they will tell you, hey, 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 army was attacking Abba. It is a lie. They have come. Anything you see Nigerian army doing in Biafra land, they are creating chance for Fulani. ESM have taken them, take them unaware, over, destroyed their, that is, even, you see this, that Buari, he destroyed Fulani. That Buari. He was the one who destroyed Fulani agenda that had been hidden from people. He came as a general. He exposed himself to people like IPOB. IPOB now, when we launch ESN, ESN now uproot. That is, that is even Fulani set that is settlement in our forest. That is their terrorist camp, Fulani terrorist camp, in our forest that have lasted 15 years, 20 years, 10 years. ESN uprooted them. So if somebody is telling me that there is a country called Nigeria, I will know you are a fool. 
There are Fulanese that have occupied lands both in Ebony State, both in Enugu, both in other states that they have taken over over 20 years. In the bushes, where did they move from to attack our communities? They are terrorist camp, which they call Fulani settlement. Terrorist camps. They took black people's lands from by force. Do you understand? ESN collected it from them. It is not an easy job. It is not an easy achievement. So when you see northern leaders gather conspiracy in order to incite something that is wrong against the people of the East using IPOB or ESN, you know that it's the anger of the defeat. You see Nigerian army torturing our people here. Let me just show you. You would think they are here for keep peacekeeping. No. They are angry because not this one. They are angry because ESN uprooted they are terrorists. Where is that uh, picture where army is them? Um, army, they are the army that took the picture by themselves. Where is that very picture of the army? Where is the picture of the army? Okay. Okay, look at it. This is Abba. Are you getting it? Is that how the army do in a place where they own? Eternity uh, under their command? No, <laughs> they, that is how they do in the land where they invade. That is how army operate in a land where they want to take away from the people. So what is the army is doing? They are doing the full and harassment terrorist job. This is what they would have been doing in our land. ESN boycott, destroy them. So the army have come in full force. So every northerners is involved. This thing you see them doing to us in our, but they are the people who pictured it and sent it. Do you understand? That is how they work. But if they see the picture on your phone, they will tell you how do you get it. But they are the people who sent it. So I know why I bring this thing now. So that if somebody tell me that here is part of Nigeria, I will laugh at you. If Biafra land is part of Nigeria, I'm coming to the topic you. I want to open our, their eyes. If Biafra land is part of Nigeria, the way Nigerian army invade our communities, is that how to invade your land? Is that how you enter your house? You break your door, you break it everywhere, you don't, but you own the key, you have the key to your house, you come up, you break it, you remove the, the zinc, you destroy everywhere, and you tell me the house belongs to you. No, I want to know, where you see everybody as an, a subject to be killed, everybody in the land, is that place belonging to Nigeria? I want to ask. Where you will see a Yoruba man supporting the army for invading our land? Because they knew that place is where they want to take over from a people. It does not belong to Nigeria. You will see a Nokana supporting the army for killing a Biafran in their land. You will see a Yoruba man, Yoruba woman, praising the army for invading our land. Because they knew that place is not part of Nigeria. They are invaders in our land. If that is part of Nigeria, is that how the army will invade? They will torture the old men, they will torture the old women. If they are the owner of the land, are they not professional in their work? Can't they go after the security, uh, after the criminals? But everybody is involved because here is not their land. Everybody is involved because they are here to take over our land, which we said no. Everybody is involved because Yoruba people are not going to want to take over our land. So immediately they hear the army in our land. If they immediately army lie and say, IPAB, ESN, you say Yoruba idiot, talking rubbish. <clears throat> because they are invaders. They come to take over. I ask you, the way army operate in our land, is that how people operate in their house? Is that how you enter your house? Is that how you enter to your vehicle? Is that how you ride your vehicle? You come, you break the glasses. Does that mean that the vehicle belongs to you? You come to a community, you destroy everything, you burn down houses, you burn down market, you kill people, you kidnap them, you kill them. Then, does that mean that that place is your land? You are an invader. You are an invader in our land. If Biafra land is your land, that is not the way the army will operate here. I want to tell you. Then let us move to our topic. I want to show you the, the, the citizens of Nigeria before we move. Share the program very, very wide. I am not a great guy here. I 
don't want to play. There is something it is playing here, there. So are you seeing it? I don't want to lie the voice. These are Fulani cows. This is the citizens. These are citizens of Nigeria that the Northern senators are, um, at least, uh, uh, is uh, that is asking for their free movement. That is how. That is the citizen of Nigeria. Do you see the citizens of Nigeria? All Fulani cows are Northern citizens. Northern Nigerian citizens, are you getting it? Because there is some, there are things I want to destroy now. There are things I want to destroy now. Share it very, very wide. Share it very, very wide. Northern, they are here, destroy people's farm, using his own knife to cut people's corn, maize, to the cow, so that it will reach the cow. They are busy for the cow. Cutting it with cutlass. He did not go and cut the grasses. He did not go and cut the grasses. That is to give the citizens of Nigeria food. Those that planted the food are not citizens. They are even the animals. So look at the original citizens of Nigeria. How they are freely. A Fulani idiot is using cutlass. Cutting the, the, the farmland of somebody. Cutting it. For the cow, the citizen of Nigeria to eat. The cow, the citizens of Facebook, is, is it now you are aware? Okay, you are just getting from your sleep, getting up. You, is now you are getting idea I am here. So you can now, you have now arrived. Okay, <laughs> Facebook, you are just dreaming. Let me show you, let, me, let us now go direct. We, I want to show you those citizens that the northern leaders... If they disturb it, I will come back again. This program is very, very important. Let me explain. They will still attack it if I want to make sentence. Do you see those northerners that the northern leaders always say they are killing northerners in the east? They are killing northerners in the east. IPOB, ESN is killing northerners in the east. They are cows. If not for these senators, how would we know? Because all northern residents in Biafra land are intact, safe. It is a standing order. Even from Mazen Amdekano, it is no go area. Nobody has ever approached. We continue. We must continue. So, all those things you used to hear, like this one on the screen. Like this one now. Killings of uh, Notana in Southeast. You must stop. It's not Notana. No, no Notana was killed. Cow! Just tell us that uh, killings of Nigerian citizens. Uh, Notan citizen because uh, human beings are not citizens. That's why. If Boko Haram will kill Notana, they will recruit them into the army. Because the main citizens are the cows. Facebook, you will tire. I will say the truth. God is my witness. I'm not going to use any word uh, to pam pampering what. When they come to kill us, do they pamper us? We continue. I use the whole word needed to be used. I will page again my attack. I will speak from another place. Those agents are reporting the program. I will say the truth. I want to ask. Have you can you show us where ESN attack Northern residents? No, but today we can discover it that it was cows. And the ESN is proud to attack cows, terrorist cows, because the cows are terrorists. Okay, I'll prove it. What is this? Is this not terrorism? What is the cow doing? Destroying some people's farm. Is the cow not terrorist? Are the cows not terrorists? No, I want to know, is it only human beings that commit terrorists? Uh, are terrorists. The cows are terrorists. So these are full and terrorist cows. Stop calling. These are not ordinary cows. These are terrorist cows. Who knows how to destroy farmland? That knows how to destroy farmland. Do you understand? So what ESN attacks and they continue to attack full and herdsmen terrorists that operate in our farmland bushes and the forest with cows. 
in the name of headers. They are the enemy of our people, and the ESM is their nightmare. And they can never stop. So if you hear Motan has tell you, uh, let me just give you up, uh, they are, they are, they are something you used to hear from them. Let me just see if I can get anything. Okay, look at things you hear. Anytime you hear these things. Look at it. Nathan has, Nathan has been uh, killed in such easy. Any EF uh, raises alarm. You know that the cows have been killed by ESN. Is a, we, we expect Nigerian newspaper to say that ESN attacks cows. We don't know that they cannot do it because the cows are humans. So, human being to Fulani. The cows are human beings to Fulani. So, the, the Nigerian media cannot report them as cows. So what they do is to report cows as women who have been killed in the East. That is what we discovered from the Senate a few days ago. That these very cows, you use, uh, these very uh, not as you used to hear, uh, IPOB ESN killed in the East. The IPOB attack uh, not as uh, is a lie. It, they are cows, and we are proud. And let us see. Not even IPOB. It is ESN that attack, attack cows. Let us hear from them. Let us hear from them and see. Citizens of Nigeria. No, not, let me start afresh. <laughs> let me start afresh. Let us see if I, uh, ESN is wrong or right. Let us see. No, let me remove the, please. Let me remove the, this thing. This picture, please. So let me remove this picture. Okay. Cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Huh? So, uh, 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 cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Part. You, you, you didn't hear what I said. Nigeria. Senator Aliru, are you arguing with me? No. Uh, I said cows uh, are not citizens of Nigeria. The section, Nigeria. The section you are referring to is talking about citizens of Nigeria. Yes. And cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Ah, but cows about can come in from Niger. They can come from no, Chad no, no, anywhere. No, no, no. But cows but are not citizens. Get it wrong. So, but, 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 Are you getting it? <laughs> are you getting it? They are telling the senior president that he is getting it wrong. The Northern Senators, with their cow bill to, to confirm, officially confirm, that cows are human beings, are citizens of Nigeria, they are there to confirm it. Because we have been saying it, that they prefer cow more than humans. They say it's a propaganda. It's a propaganda. But Fulani, in their fullness of time, have come to the Senate to tell the Senate that cows are citizens, they even mentioned 13 states of the north. They later mentioned 19 states of the north. 13 states of the north, 19 states of the north. So they, they, they continue to try to, to tell the, the world that cows are citizens, that as human beings are moving, that cows should be allowed to be moved freely. Do you understand? Are you understanding the country, the mess you are into? What kind of cow? Terrorist cows. Not just ordinary cow. Cows that was trained to be terrorists. Cows that was trained to terrorize people. Not ordinary cow. Cow that will leave the grasses and invade your farmland. Not ordinary cow. 
Human, not Fulanis are terrorists, their cows are also terrorists. We'll continue to prove it. We continue. Uh, the the point of order is noted, but rejected. You want to make a contribution on the debate? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. But I'm against the idea of restricting movement of Nigerians from one state to another. Are you getting it? I am against restricting the movement of Nigerians from one state to another. Which Nigerians? Cows. Cows. Cows from Niger. Cows from Burkina Faso. Cows from Mali. Cows. He is against, and in the end, he said, I am supporting my colleague, that is the senator, to allow to officially because we used to tell you their cows are voting. He says it's a, it's a lie. We told you their cows have voters' card. He says it's a lie. Their cows have national identity card. He says it's a lie. Officially, they have brought it to the Senate to tell you. But tomorrow, you see here, Fulani. Um, the, Terrorist, you see here Nigerian army, you see here um, northern elders, northern leaders, they will come and tell you, IPOB ESN is attacking northerners, they should stop it, and you will listen to them. But you have heard them telling you, telling the Senate president that he is getting it wrong by not agreeing with them that cows are women, are citizens of Nigeria. And this one telling you, this senator now is telling you, he is against restricting of Nigerians from moving freely from one state to another. Which Nigerians? Cows. Full and neat terrorist cows. Not ordinary cow. Full and neat terrorist cows. Cows that was trained to be terrorists. Do you understand? Let us continue. No, that will, that will not happen. Right now, citizens of Nigeria are allowed to move from one state to another to establish business without any hindrance whatsoever. It affects everywhere in Nigeria. That, that, yes, nobody I, can restrict that. Culturally, citizens of Nigeria, they can move to North Central, North West, uh, North East. South South and establish their business without yeah, they can do so they not with AK for the same. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not talking about criminals. You don't understand. I'm not you don't you don't you don't you don't say something. Uh, yeah. I'm saying He said he's not talking about criminal. Who are they before? But if you see one young try to condemn IPOB, you will think he has sense. Look at this man is not telling you he's not talking about criminal. Show me a full and investment terrorist that is not a terrorist. We'll prove it to you. Global Tourism Industry Report mentioned Fulani as the fourth deadliest terrorist organization in the world on the 22nd of November 2015. The world fourth most deadliest terrorist organization. Terrorist group, Fulani has meant terrorist. So this man is not trying to tell the Senate uh, uh, that uh, he, he, he's not talking about a criminal because this man told him that not moving with AK for seven. Who have show me? Show me a northern residence that have been attacked in Biafra. Show me none. You see it, but they will tell you is northerners have been attacked. And Northerners should be allowed to move freely. In the East, it's not Northerners. All Northerners are moving freely. Those doing their genu genuine business. You will see a bookie, he will be polishing shoes inside village. You will see Northerners, they will be selling yam, selling many things inside village, only him. They are moving freely. They are just talking about cows. Cows moving freely. When they give up ESN allegation that they attack Northern, um, Northern residents in Bia Northerners in Biafra, is a lie. They are cows. They all Northern residents are intact, safe, no go area. 
So they are always talking about cow, 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 cow. That's why they don't regard the lot as God, they regard cows. Tell me a country that terrorists, um, um, full and e terrorists, Boko Haram, ISIL, will kill their citizens, destroy their land, and they will later integrate them into the army. Is it not because those citizens are not the main citizens? It is cows that are the main citizens of the north. Tell me people that will have the mind to employ those that kill their people to become secret. You know, people, when they say they recruit them into the army as if it is another language, people that kill your people, destroy your land, you now later deploy them as your secret. Where does that what happen? Because these people recruited terrorists to wipe away human beings and allow the country for cows to be moving freely. That's why they will kick tooth and nail. People will be crying. The federal government will take cow issue as a federal issue. Cow is not, is not a resource in Nigeria. Cows are not resources to Nigerian government. This is individual business. But government take it as personal. Government use it to take people's land. Government use it to threaten people. Government use it to send army to our land. Their anger is ESL stop Fulani from expanding. That's all. Fulani has meant terrorists. Not Fulanis that are in our land doing their businesses. Do you understand? So when you see them complaining, you, if you are in a brother, you call your brothers or sisters. Is there any Nortana they kill? They'll tell you no. Do you know that in Nortana you cannot eat his 10 naira in Igbo land? Igbo people will not allow you. You must pay the Nortana. You must pay him his money. Instead, he will come against you. It is our life. We don't change from it. We don't learn it. Nobody commands us to do so. You cannot intimidate a stranger in our land. But we are against criminals. The of any kind, whether my brother or my sister. That is why if you see us fighting criminals, they say, leave him now. He is holding Biafra flag. If you like a criminal, use Biafra flag to sew your cloth. Using them the kind of picture to change your face. A criminal is a criminal will condemn you. Hey, they are fighting, we are fighting the same cause. A thief fighting the same cause with you. You are, you are an idiot. Do you understand? So, this very exposition brokers is to open the eyes of those who thought that ESN have been aggressive to Northerners or IPOB have been aggressive to Northerners when the Northerners want to change the narrative. Instead of telling their citizens the truth, they want to change the narrative and create a ground in the East as if Eastern Nigeria is in the same shape of terrorism with Northern Nigeria. Northerners are running, but you cannot see them. Let me show you. This was June. June, which day in June? Oh yeah. Residents fleeing bandits attack drawn in Niger State. Residents fleeing bandit attack drawn in Niger State. Do you understand? 6th June 2024. But you see the army fighting people in the east as if their land is free. If you can ask yourself a question, you ask yourself, show me Igbo land that will recruit such people into their security. Those Boko Haram terrorists. Igbos can never do it. Because they value human beings. But not as all these senators have sold out their land to terrorists. Not as senators. They sold out their land to terrorists. They don't value their citizens. But when their citizens want to discover it, they try to change the narrative and push it to the east. As if the insecurity in the east is, a, is anything apart from government um, projected insecurity. Artificial insecurity. The insecurity in the north, you cannot see insurgents in the east. Bombing of markets, doing this apart from that of Nigerian army. 
So, but if you see they're trying to change the narrative, IPOB ESL is a fighting uh, and not a residence. It is not not a residence. Let us listen. I don't know if my system has connected us. Okay. Let us listen and see if they are talking about not a residence or they are talking about cows. Cows are not citizens of Nigeria. <laughs> ah, so, <laughs> cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Did you hear what I said? Senator Lee, are you arguing with me? No, I, I said cows are not citizens of Nigeria. I said cows are not citizens of Nigeria. The station they are referring to is talking about citizens of Nigeria. Yes, and cows are not 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 citizens of Nigeria. <laughs> they have told the senator, senior president, you are getting it wrong. We told them earlier that they thought, so uh, Abadio is now defending it, that the cancer, you are dreaming. You are dreaming. All this time you, knew, you used to hear from the governors, cancer, uh, IPOB, ESN, attack Northern residents. Don't you know that IPOB did not attack Northern residents because sometimes they can't give the order. No. All Northern residents in Biafra land are safe. Nothing will go, nothing will lead you to them. Where they are doing their legitimate businesses. That is why a Northern will carry yam and go to inside village and sell, go freely. If you try to chop his money, Igbo people will catch you. You must pay the Northern. You cannot rob. Nobody will allow you to intimidate him. But if you see them trying to change the narrative, People would think that Northerners are facing anything here. No, they are cows. They are talking about cows. Let us listen. See that also projecting bill for cow. You know, when they use count to them in voting, we tell you, say it's a lie. But officially they have come to the Senate to prove to you that they are citizens. We told you they have national identity. You say it's a lie. Then they are in the Senate to defend their citizens, the citizenship of the cows in Nigeria. Your, your point of order is noted, very dated. We want to make a contribution on the debate. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. But I'm against the idea of restricting movement of Nigerians from one state to another. No doubt. Are you getting it? <laughs> And the Northerner is to support the other one. He is against restricting of Nigerians' movement from one state to another. Which Nigerians? Tell me Nigerians that have been restricted. Tell me a Northerner that have been restricted. They are talking about cow. People restrict cow from moving to from one state to another. Cows are not human beings. But you see him defending. At the end, he said he is in support of his colleague. He's supporting him to approve cow as official citizen because they have been citizens just to make it constitutional. That's all. But officially, cows have been citizens of Nigeria. Why do Buhari found it? So that is take it as a task to make sure that cows occupy lands in people's communities. You see how they push to create land for cow. It, it, have you suffered like that to create community for your people? To create a village? You cannot suffer. You cannot even go, go to the extent where the government of Nigeria have gone to create communities for cow. But if you see, they will kill the communities. They will take their land. The owners of the land, they will take their land for, by force. They will kill the owners. They will threaten them. They will send them. In, they will man checking point. They will build police station. In order to take your land and create cowish community, cow community, all this thing you have to give us your land, it is to create cow community. All this, hey, we want to Ruga. Ruga is cow community, community of cow. Cows are citizens of North. Cows are citizens of Nigeria. 
That is why the army is angry on us because ESN stopped the Fulani from taking over our land. So the army is now killing us. Killing us as if we have any war. Killing us without any reason. They will just come and invade the community, burn it down to tell you that this is not part of their land. This is a land they have prepared to secure for their cows. So you cannot be invading your house in that manner. You cannot use through the roof and enter your house. You cannot break your the wall to enter your house. If here is part of Nigeria, why do the army torture both old, both new, young, both children, both everybody in a land where they say is under their territory, it is under their control? It is impossible. You can only do so in a land where you go to war. You can only do so in a land where you come to take over from the people. You can only do so in a land where you come to desolate the land and take over their land. That is how Nigerian army operate. They don't operate our, in our land as if there is any citizen. No. From here. That is in Nigeria. No. no. They can't do that. They don't do that. This is a land they protected for cow. Cow only. So they can kill. The army can go to a bank kill. They can invade the traditional rulers' uh, com, uh, palace and kill. They can kill anybody. They can kidnap more than 400 in Abba and kill. They can come Python dance and kill. They can shoot us in National High School Abba, 9th of February 2016, because here is not part of Nigeria. They cannot be shooting inside the market and be thinking that the Nigerians, the bullet will touch a Nigerian. They don't believe there is a Nigerian here. That is why they don't have any foundation here. That is why they don't mingle with us in businesses. That is why Yorubas have where they are living. There might be many living there in our land where they will be carrying their mborogo, their uh, medicine in the morning and move. Do you understand? Because they know that their army can invade our markets. So they don't want to be affected. The northerners have where they are. When they have where they are residing in our land, they will mount army checking points. They cannot be in our midst because they knew that the, uh, that place is not Nigeria. The army can invade anywhere we are and kill us, and they will be involved. So that is why they choose places where they are. It's only us that will go to their land and mix with them. But in our land, they don't mix with us. When they go and sell in the evening, they'll be rushing back to Masala, uh, to their uh, Amaosa, go and sleep. Because they know they cannot go and be with us. They know that they can go and burn down our market. So they don't want be, to be in our market. They have a separate place where they are and mount army checking point there. Because here is not part of Nigeria. Do you understand? Here is not part of Nigeria. Oga, tell me somebody that will break the glass of the door of his vehicle before you enter. Is it not what the army do here? Is it not what the police does here? In our land, is that how to operate in your country? Where you come to secure? Everybody is involved in whatever happened. If somebody snatch a car, everybody there are car snatchers. And they, are, they claim to be professional in their job. Do you understand? Tell me a country that take you as that is they, that even have a reason that they have citizens in such a child place, and the multitude of people will come out for protest. They will shoot them. Do they even think that? Do they even think that among that crowd that is protesting in Biafra land that one of their citizens may be in the crowd? They knew that their citizens cannot be in the crowd. As for me. It's like before they attack us, they will inform the northerners not to go around social place. They can never fall victim of the army. Do you understand? The way they attack, the way they attack our land, the army, do they do it as a city where they secure? Do they come to our land as their territory? How do you come and in a country where you call your own? You just see people that are protesting, you shoot them. You, you don't think that there are people who believe in your country that can be in, um, in their midst? No, you don't, because you need to wipe out the citizens, those people out and take over their land. That's the same thing with 1967 to 70 genocide of Biafra. It is, they were bombarding markets, bombarding schools, bombarding churches, bombarding IDP camp. Tell me, bombarding houses. That is to say, 
they do not care about the army they care about the citizens but in a war you will go after the army when you defeat the army then the citizen becomes subject that is submissive to you but they go after the citizen because their intention is to desolate our land clean it up and take it over today the senators of the north are now proudly trying to present citizens that have been northern citizens for long just to make them officially nigerian general nigerian citizens you see how they go that if you talk about ipob human beings so you will come up it's ipob dc ipob that but cows they go to defend cows protect cow because cows is greater than humans in the north only seen only politicians are humans all the northern citizens are already dead you are you are not existing they just ginger you by lying against the east to you so that you'll be helping them to fight the east as if you are a citizen you are not a citizen tell me if you are a citizen how can boko haram massacre your people destroy your land Chase away companies. At the end, your northern leaders agreed to recruit the same Boko Haram into security. Can you accept it in your life? That criminals, people that came and killed your parents, you now kill your children, you ended up recruiting them as your get man. The other one will be your watch night. The other one is a get man. The, other, the, whole, the people that invaded your house, and you tell me you are normal because the people they killed deserve to die they don't deserve to live because they are not a citizen the men they are not not citizens. the men not citizens are the cows that is why any community that cow uh, these terrorist cows because the cows are terrorists then the full and that rear the cows are terrorists if the cows were not trained to be terrorists how do they uh, leave um grasses and go after farm farmland are you getting it? So, if these very cows are, is not important to them, why is it that if a community kill a cow for invading their, their, their farmland, destroying farmland, the Nigerian government will deploy army to that place to kill citizens? In the morning, they will tell you, it's full of yes, men, a terrorist, as if we are foolish. And when the community want to retaliate, the army will roll in into that community as keep peacekeeping. But the people that did it have returned to the barrack. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you understand? The people that committed it have returned back to the barrack. So why is it that because of a cow, a community will be wiped out? Because of cow. Fulani, northern leaders, governors will contact Fulani terrorists to go and destroy that community with the Nigerian army because a cow was killed. Because the cow is more valuable than humans. Today it has been officially been presented in the Senate. Tomorrow you will still come and defeat IPOB. You will still come and talk about ESN. If ESN is to protect human beings against terrorist cows and the terrorist cattle rearers claim to be uh, that are Fulanese, then you are there talking rubbish because the government come with propaganda, recruited criminals to uh, use the name of ESN, which they are not ESN, and uh, operate because the government submitted the political talks contact to the recruited agents so that they will now act as ESN. So to so because ESN was have been guided, you cannot give them allegation and succeed. So they kidnap on them, they can. They now use that chance to uh, deploy their criminals to act with the name of ESN so that they will create some space of bad name for ESN. So that if people can have grand and say, hey, see what ESN is doing. But when ESN was launched, they have no reason to say stop it. Because ESN is discipline till tomorrow. The people you saw that destroy our land, claiming that Biafra or something, they are criminal. These are political talks that used to carry voters' cards, ballot buses, that used to kill people for politicians. They are criminals. But they just tell them, yes, man, the can is not here. Or you operate with the name of ESN. So that they can create some space of bad name. Do you understand? So that the Northerners and the army will have a grant to kill our people. Because every plan to kill our people with the name of ESN, we neutralize them. So, 
on the the ground they now used to kill our people is to recruit criminal. Today they are no longer using the name of ESN. They told you there is no ESN because they have created that space of bad name with the name of ESN. Do you understand? So that evil people will now use it as their own defense to fight against ESN because they have no grant. ESN is genuine. Have been genuinely operating against Fulani Hesmen, a Fulani terrorist, and the cows, ter they are terrorist cows because their cows are terrorists. Hence, the Senate have told us that the cows are human beings. Then you don't, you no longer see those cows as cow, as ordinary cow. You see them as terrorist cows, which means the cows knows what they are doing. We saw the cows as animal that the terrorist Fulani Hesmen are the people who lead them into our farmland. But I after the, the Senate presentation, Northern, Northern Senator's presentation in the Senate, we now discovered that these cows knew what they are doing. So from today, they became terrorist cows. They are not ordinary. These are trained terrorist cows. Trained one. If you are in Emo State, let me show you a video in case you have not watched it. It will still reach to other states. Just stop eating cow, full and cow meat, automatically anyway. Hey, <laughs> don't it affect you. But let us just say, I will not go further. Any. We have listened to the senators from the north. Nothing there than to tell senior president that he's wrong. You are getting it wrong. That he's supposed to understand that cows are citizens. That's what they want to prove to him. Senator, not a senator, telling you he's against restricting of movement of citizens from moving from one state to another. Tell me where citizens are being restricted. I want to know. Apart from Lagos, where they are destroying Igbo property, they stop them from voting. What do the citizens restricted? Cows. What do people restrict from moving freely? Cows. So the, what when a senator from North tell you that People ha is against restricting of people. Restricting of people. If you hear from Northern government, they will tell you they 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 should allow Northerners to be moving freely in the southeast. If you go to Northern residents, they are, they are there freely. If you go to Northerners that are doing their businesses in Biafra land, they are moving freely everywhere. They can go to inside village any place. Do you understand? Then who are those they are restricting? Cows. And Fulani Hesmen terrorists. They are the people that ESN restricts. So why are they too inquisitive to present cowish cows agenda? To create communities for cow, official communities. The ones they created before Buhari came and claimed to be Hitler to IPOB. IPOB came and knew Hitler. We now uprooted even Fulani uh, terrorist camp, which they call uh, Fulani settlement. No, it is a terrorist camp where they operate from. They have been operating from these places for over 15 years, 20 years, in uh, Boyinenugu, in Abia. Before ESN came. So, with the ma make him, make him mouth of Ubuare, I, I am a general, I can do this. When they, we launch ESN, ESN, Ubuare is the problem of Fulani today. All the, this thing they are facing is Ubuare. He went, came and they scatter the home Fulani have secured already. Because he said, if you be, I, he said, he will crush. I said, I'll crush. I'll Fulani agenda. Let it work again. We don't cross it everywhere. We expose it. We deal with it. Even Fulani became danger. Their life become danger in the whole of Nigeria. They started dodging. IPAB exposition. Fulani will now disguise to be moving. Fulani become repentant. Fulani is turned to angel. Only exposition of IPAB. The next one, or ESL was launched. They uprooted the, the Fulani camp that have lasted 20 years. Today they are crying. Instead of to tell us that you want, uh, uh, instead of to tell the world that all those things you have been saying about uh, restricting of movement of uh, people in, in the East, uh, disturbance of Northerners in the East, uh, killings of Northerners in the East, tell the world they are cows, not human, because no human being have been attacked 
in the east. No matter no. Tell the world it is cows. Cows you talk about. Thank you. We continue. So you see such video from the Senate, you don't overlook it. You have to they simply expose themselves in the open. Not an idiotic senators came and vindicated them they can. They came and vindicated. Let us show people of what happened in Imo. Imo State. Very <laughs> Thank <laughs> Do you understand? They poison their cows and uh, the was is dying, they will now kill it and um, sell it to our people. We will continue. Thank God our people understand the game. You no longer win us. Whether you have UB or not, people know the game. They know they have to defend their land. Anyhow you can. Expose the enemy. So it is now understandable that IPOB have been right. It is now understandable that ESN have been legitimately operating. It is now understandable that recruitment of terrorists into the army is to go to the south especially the east as uh, the south as they call southeast to go and kill people in the name of nigeria army to go and instigate trouble and also come in the name of army they will instigate it in the name of uh, police and in the name of criminal they will instigate and attack with the name of uh, esn or ipob then the the same boko haram will also be deployed to that place to kill people the way nigerian army invade our communities is that how army invade that is how terrorists invade so to tell you that they are not far from all the terrorists that have been recruited into the army none of them are in the east so if you hear them say oh, we have deployed our army you ask them is that how army invade their communities their territory the way they come they will just come and start shooting they will block road they will do this in their land upon they have dss they have every security intelligence to go into work and get the criminals. They will not do that. They will torture the old man. They will torture the old woman. They will torture the small boy. They will torture the woman. They will torture the girl. They will torture the lady. They will torture everybody in a territory you say you are a, 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 is under your control. Armless people, you torture them. Then, what will you do in the land of the place you call enemy? What will you do apart from what you are doing in our land? Is it not a strange land where you want to take over from people that you can do such thing you are doing in our land? How many communities in the north have the Nigerian invaded and burned down there? No. 
anywhere you see Nigerian army, or you see them, they say they are bombarding. They do mistake. They were bombing Boko Haram terrorists. They bomb people's house. They know what they did. There is somebody they, that is a key, that is a deal they want to close. After the deal of terrorism, they know that house is where the person is living, and that person is there. They will bomb there. The person will be involved and die. That one will see. They will continue with other people. That's how they move. Show me original army in Biafra land. Show me, apart from Boko Haram terrorists. Now you see the reason why, what you will always hear from their news is how many Boko Haram that have been, that have repented. You cannot hear a name of anyone. Because they don't want to publish their name. So that if you see the Boko Haram at the front of your house, in a check-in place, hey, this one was among the 420 repented Boko Haram, I saw his name. No, they cannot publish their name. You, they cannot publish their name, but they are Nigerian army. They are Nigerian army. Tell me how you can tell us who went and attacked the army. Is it not the same Boko Haram that have been attacking army in the north? Is it not the same Boko Haram that they sent in the east? Are they not the same people that they will also send to attack army? Are they not the same people that will post to the original Igbo man in a checking point and send their Boko Haram to go and attack them? And they now send the same Boko Haram to go and kill Igbo people and say they are looking for ESN. Tell me how it happens. A country that know that Namdekanu was in Kenya and kidnapped him in Kenya. That country cannot catch people that killed the army in Aba. But they are said they want to deport IPOB leaders, uh, mem leadership members from abroad. They have p our pictures, they have our names uh, looking for us. But the criminal, they don't know what to catch them. All they know is that anybody they see in Aba, they kill, they catch. If they see you after six o'clock in the evening, you tell them where you are coming from. If they catch you in you know, Osama Junction, you will use your knee to move till you go to the army barrack in you know, Umba High School. If, if, if they catch you from six in the evening up, then you know you are the one. Who, that is the game. In the night, people are missing. But they say, yes, they are territory, territory integrity. How do you kidnap your citizen? How do you kill them? Show me one of them that committed the offense. Those you have killed. Those you are keeping in National High School. Those you are keeping in Asa High School. Those you took to 14 Brigade or half. Tell me those in uh, 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 what is it called? Arongwa. Tell me any of them that was involved in the attack. Is that how to do in your country? No, you can only do play that place as a people conquer. People you come to conquer. People who come to take their land. People you invaded their land. That is the people you can treat like that. Not people you have the same country with. So automatically, here does not belong to Nigeria. You don't operate here as if here is your land. So do not... People People can be stupid, not to us, we IPOB. We will deal with you uh, even beyond your expectation. So let us continue to oppose the program will not be too long. We are just here to expose them and also at least give you some, give our people some distance, you know, mm -hmm. so that we will continue. We will continue. This is the battle Mazinam Nekano taught us. That is the battle. We cannot move away from it. Cows are citizens of Nigeria. We are not the people that said it. It is not an senators. They even told the senior president that he's getting it wrong for not agreeing with them that cows are citizens. They even said they are angry when they hear that um, the restrict movement of Nigerians from moving from another state to another because he was not talking about human. He was talking about cows. No human have been restricted apart from Igbo people in Lagos. Right? From voting. He's talking about cow. Cow. Cow, that's all. Because cow is the citizen. The cows are the citizens. Cows are the citizens. 
You cannot, Boko Haram cannot kill citizens and you recruit them into the secret. No. You did so because the owner of the land where you are killing the citizens is because you are creating the community for chaos. That is why they recruit Boko Haram to kill citizens and recruit Boko Haram into the army again to say they are guiding the citizens. That is automatically, Boko Haram have killed as criminal. They now officially become citizens of that place they have killed the people. So they are now killing them to create the community for cow. So automatically, the Boko Haram terrorists that killed the Northerners are more citizens than those that they killed because they are now officially the army. Do you understand? They will call you bloody civilian. So they are more, civi more citizens than you. And they, again, they have the right to wipe you away because the community belongs to cows. You can see they are seeing it creating more chance for cows. Do you understand? Thank you. From here. Do you understand? So this thing we are telling you we, these are allegations we had 2022 2023 sorry let me see it look at it Northern youth, northern groups threatens retaliation over killings, over kinsmen killings in southeast. Who is their kinsmen? Cows. <laughs> why you hear them talk about it? You say, hey, hey, why is the EI, IPOB is killing the northern? They are causing trouble. It's a lie. ESN is killing cow, and we want Nigerian news to publish it. They should stop presenting this human being, this I am not an anatana. Present cow that ESN confronted terrorist cow that there was that not an strength and told them how to invade farmland. Why is it that Nigerian media cannot publish the activities of ESN on the cows, terrorist cows, and the Fulanese terrorists that raised them? But uh, immediately, Nigerian army submit the picture of uh, news of criminals and say, hey, it's the ESN. Nigerian news will publish it. Show me one Nigerian news that publish cow. Why is it that ESN will attack the cow and video it and send it out? And Nigerian media will dodge from it. But you see them grabbing the news of criminals and target IPOB. Do you understand? You will see them doing so. But uh, for them to tell you about this, they will not tell you. They will tell you, Ami was attacking Aba, Ami was attacking Aba. But look at it. Residents fleeing bandits attack drawn in Niger State. Adi Amapama. They cannot tell you now. Hey, 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 hey they should stop. Oh, stop. Oh. Carry your car and come, come inside our farmland. Come and tell IPB to stop. God will punish you and your stupidity. IPOB is stop. ESN can never stop confronting cows. Until Nigerian media will re start reporting the legitimate works of ESN. Confronting cows. We are, we are proud to demand that Nigerian newspaper should publish it. But they cannot. The army told them, don't do it. If you do it, you legitimize the activities of ESN as if IPOB is non-state actors. We are state actors. Right? So, what do you think that you can do to us? I, after shouting, it is just really long. And my, we must also commend that there is no governor in Nigeria for now. Adama Kwama. Uh -huh. Had it been no idiot or no mayor, I'm a bachelor and in an avoc. Up and down again, me, I'm all no okay, z idiot. In the law again, who noted you, what would you brain? What you brain now come on here, now has here. I feel be with intelligence, Hana Ron. Over idiot, okay, say one. 
I carry Bugo more than 2,000 naba. I'm telling you. Okay, see. Okay, see, Baz. Ya can hear a broke is in on here, me. She naked me calling me every. I'm on Saba, I saw Kareba go to Nabana. These are idiots. Mature will reposition. Le only will a pattern dance. You make a serious series of killings, so me go to Naba. Okay, see, Baz. I don't know who didn't think I'm my hair, no, you were. Came Rose at the Mahati Charano. Ha. Okay, they gave me pose on there, but that's even Tia Maddy here. The Toti can go see my own number one secret. Now, I'm going to take a shame. Me place a bounty. So, in the night, the army will now use their own power and commit crime. Not instruction of the governor. They will always do so. That's why they're in charge of the army. So that if they do it, they will seal it. That's why they don't allow you to be in the security meeting. So that you will not know what they do. Do you understand? So in the night, they will start terrorism. In the day, they will stop as if they are obeying the governor. In the night, terrorism starts. So that is it. I'm from here. I'm from me from here. It is good evening. That is where I'll be bringing this program to an end. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. If you have not shared, share it. We will continue to push in truth and in honesty. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist. Thank you.